Hey, I'm Josh from JC Woodworks. I just made this serving tray using Upstart Epoxy's 18 by 12 silicone mold, their deep pour and tabletop epoxy resin, along with their color creator pack and their fantastic mica powder. Check out how I did it. To begin this project, I use a template that I made to fit the 18 by 12 mold, and I used it using Upstart Epoxy's deep pour resin and the mold itself. And then I begin milling up this ambrosia maple. Since I used my template, the wood fits the mold perfectly. I mix up the Upstart Epoxy's deep pour resin. Their deep pour mixes at a two to one ratio and mixes up super clear. I add the Upstart mica pigment and then I went back and added some drops of al black alcohol ink from Upstart's color creator pack. This will give it a two-tone kind of shadow effect, and it really looks awesome. Now it's time to pour the epoxy. Upstart's deep pour has a six hour working time and a 72 hour cure time, and you can pour up to two inches at a time. After it cures, take it out of the mold and flatten the top. I run mine through the planer on both sides just to get all of the extra or uneven epoxy off of it. Then I use my table saw and my miter saw to clean up the sides. Next, I'll give the edges a run with a quarter inch chamfer bit on the top and the bottom. And then when we sand, I start at 120 grit and work my way up to 320, making sure I don't skip any grits along the way. And then it's time for the flood coat. I'll use painter's tape along the edges of the bottom and this will help reduce the resin drips uh, that dry on the bottom. Now my favorite part the flood coat. I use Upstart Epoxy's tabletop resin, which mixes at a one-to-one -one ratio. It's self-leveling, so it's really important that you take the time to level your project before you pour. You let that cure for 24 hours, and then it's time to finish the bottom. I use different types of oil, but on this one, I used walrus oil. It really turns out good. Then it's time to add the hardware. I return to my pre-made template, which I've measured and pre-drilled holes for repeatability, in placing the rubber feet and the handles. This template is a huge time saver. And with that, this serving tray is done. If you want to make yours, then you can find all the products that I used on Upstart Epoxy's website. Now, go make some sawdust.